Hi, Scissoring here with another video for Scourge League, and this is about potions. In Scourge League, all the potion stuff changed. The normal prefix that they are used to isn't the same anymore. So what we've done is we've made a uh, spreadsheet, all the new like yeah, fast mods and stuff like that. So an easy cheat sheet for you to follow, like what is bleeding now and things like that. So you can check that out. I wanted to go over some like tips and tricks for flasks and looking at the different item levels and things like that. So first we can look at what I'm using right now. So I have a Seething Divine of Warding. That's because like curses is the main thing I'm scared of. I have Bleed Removal with Enduring, that's Sealing. Uh, that's the tier four one, so it gives eight seconds of immunity. I'm also, and like, I haven't really rolled like end game flasks yet. I would try to find item level 84 flasks later because now item level matters on flasks. It's a lot harder to roll flasks now. This is one of the strongest mods. Uh, that I found reduced effect of curses because I don't have curse immunity and it's kind of annoying to get rid of them all the time however just having this up makes most of them like a lot less scary and gain four charges when you're hit by an enemy well I'm on a character that's getting hit a lot so it's uh, really nice it's always up while mapping uh, here we have a grounded flask with armor and this goes all the way up to 60% at the highest tier and then attack speed goes pretty high uh, 17% this is kind of worth divining and we can look at uh, some of the mods here as well. Uh, so you can see that like, all of them, the reduced effect goes up to like 65%. So these are really good. We have the immunity ones as well, but they have less duration. You need to have very high clear speed or charge generation to be able to actually be immune from blast now. But you do still have that option now. And uh, obviously you can use orbs as well. I don't really like any of the new orbs. I think kindling orb and things like that. The reason for that is um, I either like being able to use them when I need them. Uh, I don't really want them like automatically done for me. But especially for a map player, you could like have them like used on flask next to it. So you only have to press one flask. And you can see on the ones that are on life and mana. So for example, the bleed one. This is uh, 17 seconds of immunity whenever you are using it. 17 seconds. Uh, this only works while you're using when you have bleed. The flask system is actually in a not too bad spot now. And you can also see for the instant life flask. They're all like less of a penalty. So you can actually get pretty good fast now at high level. Here's the instant recovery one. That's the only tier for that. And then bubbling. And here you can see bubbling is very strong at the highest tier. 30 or 36% or reduced amount of recovered. So bubbling is probably the way to go now because it's actually quite nice. Yeah, it is actually quite nice. I do like seething too, but bubbling is really nice at the end game because it's uh, really good for dots. But yeah, I just figured we would make a quick video telling you about the flask updates and giving you guys the cheat sheets to make it easier to understand how the flasks have changed now. Thanks for watching. Sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do.